Peace fam, what's good? It's Ivy here. You are at Ivy Vibes. And today I'm going to do a read for you guys that is your feelings versus theirs. And I'm doing this because I don't want Wednesdays to solely be about people in separation. Okay? Um, or to give maybe a little bit more insight to if you are separated. But I want you to also feel like if you are with somebody, because not everybody is separated. If you are with somebody that you still can get a little insight into what it is that they may be feeling um, and everybody's separation, if you are separated, are different. It could just be we're just not talking right now, but we still are, you know, living in the same place or uh, we're not completely separated. We're just not talking to each other today because maybe we had an argument, whatever. But this is going to be for your feelings versus theirs. And again, this could be even if you're in a good place doesn't have to be you know that you guys are separated and things are going horrible they could be going just fine and this is just to get an update and do some inventory on what's going on with me and my partner okay so we are going to start with your feelings then we're going to start with yeah we're going to start with your feelings and then we're going to go to theirs okay so um like share and subscribe to my channel and when i say this uh this is for my facebook family i also have the same channel title ivy vibes tarot on youtube so i would greatly appreciate it if you guys would check me out there i know everyone is always so tempted to watch me here because it is easier but i really would love to have the support of you same the same people and more that are watching me on Facebook also watch me on YouTube and that goes along for um, my divination with D channel um, I also have that on YouTube as well and so all of the love and support for watching me there on YouTube is greatly, greatly appreciated. So we're just going to take a look here once we get these cards out for your feelings. And then we're going to take a look at your partners. All right. So let's do this here. Get these situated. So for you, there's a lot of passion here. Fire and desire. We got that. Uh, the Ace of Wands. So it looks as though you might be looking to either start a new relationship. You could be in the beginning of a new relationship. Or this could be that you are in the beginning phases of a the same relationship. But I need a Q-tip. If y'all know how good that feels. Just that. Anyway, <laughs> I digress. Um, this could be renewing, a, a rekindling an old flame uh, within a new relationship, having that new spark. But um, this is definitely feeling like you're in a really good place. With that Ace of Wands, there's a lot of good sex going on, okay? A lot of hot, passionate sex. Uh, a lot of movement towards each other when it comes to your desires. Uh, there could be some things that you may be trying to make up your mind about when it comes to... When it comes to things with your how you're feeling, maybe... Um, Your thought process there's some things that it feels like you know that you need to make a decision about when it comes to looking at it but you don't want to do it right now so i don't know what that's about how serious that is 
and then this element of doing whatever you can to make things work fighting for the relationship and maintaining a sense of love continuing to offer love so that things can grow within the relationship moving forward and keeping things very light and fun there's some things so that it feels like it's taking you some time to move away from when it comes to things with the relationship and that you're um waiting for something else to happen here something to come something to change waiting for some growth to happen within the relationship so let's see why why is the ace of ace of wands here i was about to say swords why is the ace of wands here for my collective why is the ace of wands here because we had the two of cups so you really do feel a lot of passion for this person and feel like it is being given back to you in a mutual way that whatever um love is there that you're feeling pretty fulfilled and sustain and then we have the ace of cups so you could be, you could be trying to figure out exactly how much love to get this person so for some of you it really could be that this is a new relationship a budding relationship that is blooming here and you feel very passionate towards this individual and you feel like um, this is someone that you share the same type of emotional uh, feelings with and that you definitely want to give your love to this person. This is something that is very new. We have two aces here. Ace of, Ace of Wands. I don't know why I keep saying the Ace of Swords. Ace of Wands and the Ace of um, Cups. So, in saying that, I can see why we may have the Five of um, the Five of Swords. Because this is like, maybe it's taking you some time to get to this place and you've been fighting to really be able to have something of your own. Okay, and with this, you might have even given up hope. Of being able to have love that you've been fighting for uh, sometimes the journey of love is not always easy and we may fight for a lot of things but sometimes it's really just best to kind of let things go and some things you don't have to fight that hard for you know what I'm saying but now that we actually you know we have you in this place where you have this love it's like you are really ready to give everything that you have and this is you know possibly a result of having had some heartbreak okay getting um having had some heartbreak in a relationship dealing with some things that were hard but still not allowing yourself to go into this place where you feel victimized and still being open to give your heart to somebody and i can kind of feel that with this here you know making a decision as to whether you really want to start something new because of what you have been through in the past yeah so this is something that you really don't want to walk away from and you've been taking time to really think about um how this is going to affect you if this is something that you feel is worth investing in, if it's going to be worthwhile, is it something that your heart can actually take? And I definitely see that this is something that you, you know, are waiting for. You're waiting to build something with this person, possibly even uh, still in a place where you're healing with those three of swords aimed at the heart. You might be... Um, you know, in a place where you're trying to resist being guarded because in other cards that I have, the person has his hand on the sword. Your hand is just, this person's hand is just laying next to the sword. So it's like, okay, if I need to 
uh, kind of put a shield up or guard myself in any kind of way. I know that the sword is right there, but I'm going to allow myself to be a little bit more open, a little bit more vulnerable and just wait and see what happens. But I'm going to be standing in hope of all hope that things are going to go the way that I would like them to with this person. So it feels like, you know, you feel pretty good when it comes to this person. And it definitely feels like this is something that is new. Your person... Ooh, the person that you are dealing with with the three of mm, swords at the bottom of the deck um and i haven't even shuffled yet but this being at the bottom of the deck they could have gone through some kind of uh heartbreak too in the past with whatever situation that they were dealing with so let's see wow it feels like you guys have a lot of cards that are coming out the same so i feel like your person right now is feeling really good about uh how they feel for you what they think about you wanting to rush in and spend that time with you i definitely feel like this is something of a mutual agreement oh yeah yeah oh my goodness yeah this definitely feels like it is so i think your person um may also be in this space where they are um taking time as well like this like you to think about what it is that they want to do um having the feelings of wanting to rush in is not the same as having it in action but it definitely feels like this person uh, has their heart and their mind set on being with you. It also looks like they may be in a very good financial position and are wanting to build with you something that is going to last, not anything that is flighty. And definitely, again, they have the two of cups like you had the two of cups. They also feel that this is a mutual bond between the two of you. And would like to share that. And with the lover's card, they definitely are uh, set on making the decision to want to be with you. Moving away from anything where there may have been some kind of conflict, arguments, and um, disharmony. That is a word. So why is this? Why are these cards here? Why do we have these? Why, why, why? Uh, Your person could be older. Your person definitely can be old. Could be older. Um, I would say older is in thirty-five and older. Someone that is more mature. Um, this is good. This is good. So. Bottom of the deck for your person, we have the Ten of Pentacles. They, it really feels like they are looking at building a life with you. With the Ten of Pentacles, uh, possibly something that can stand the test, build generations of uh, family, family uh, legacies with you. Um, so, with the King of Wands, this. This feels like this this person is very very passionate about you they feel they're very confident in who they are um it also feels like they're a bit of a uh very charismatic in their words uh possibly enjoy having really decent conversations they could be tra at a distance possibly traveling to see you um, or they could end up bringing some news or waiting for some news to come from you. Or you could hear from this person very soon if you are not in contact with them in regards to how they are feeling. 
this person also could travel when it comes to work. And with the King of Pentacles, this is something that I feel this person, the way that they feel in terms of wanting to build something with you and have something very lasting, uh, something that they may hold close to their heart if they have not expressed this to you. And if it's still in the beginning stages, I would say that these are things that are in their thoughts. Um, but they are allowing themselves to guide you, possibly maybe even getting some advice from an older female person that they highly respect male or female um if this person's feelings like if you're if if with this being the top row being your feelings if you are a male this could be your feelings the feelings of the female if you are a male for the top row being your feelings then this could be um the other way around if you're a female uh, with the top row being your feelings, this could be a male. So in either case, uh, your person, whether you are a female or a male, could be seeking some type of um, advice from someone that is non-sexual, uh, older female, someone that they highly respect, um, could even be a mother or a motherly figure, and um, are taking in a lot of wisdom from this individual and they could be expressing that this is something new as well because we have the baby that is down here so I think too with the two of cups this is something that this person um, may be uh, feeling a bit reserved about when it comes to <clears throat> giving with the two of cups but definitely feel like this is something mutual that they want to give to but i think that they are trying to be uh careful in regards to how much they give so they're not feeling like they're giving too much too soon trying to stay in control of their emotions but they feel very very deeply this is someone and it's so funny because in this deck the female uh the queen of cups she only has one foot in the water and it's not even her whole foot it's, it's her toes this is the king and he has both of his feet in uh the water and his cup is open in the other one the female her leg is crossed over she's got her hand on the cup so she's being a little bit more cautious in regards to who she is uh, allowing to come in and not being that open but this guy here he seems pretty confident like he's done the work within himself and he feels really good about you and who he is allowing himself to come into his space. Is feeling very confident, very grounded, not going anywhere. Um, does not feel guarded at all, but is completely in his emotions. Completely in his emotions and is desiring to share that because he feels that this is a place where he is getting the same kind of reciprocated love coming back. So I think that with uh, the Six of Swords in reverse, there may be some things, you know, that were moved away from or had a hard time. This person had a hard time moving away from and maybe trying to still balance uh, and weigh things out juggle do a little bit of juggling um possibly if the job is one of those things that they have to take into consideration <clears throat> it's balancing things out how can we manage you know to do all this and then i would say too balancing their emotions and their feelings because it takes a lot to come from a place where you've given so much and you you've been hurt but you're still trying to remain in a place where you're open um after during and um the process of healing so this does not feel like a bad reading at all it feels like both of you are sharing mutual feelings for each other both of you may have experienced some kind of um hurt in the past but overall generally are moving towards each other and feel very good about being with each other and do not have any type of hesitancy 
there's only, you know, you coming out of this feeling of, you know, feeling like you're always going to have to fight for the kind of love that you want and that it might feel a little bit hopeless. So you want to continue to heal and get over whatever pain was there. Make sure that you are completely walking away from those feelings that you had in the past that may be holding you back, that may even create some negative thoughts about love or the people that you meet and come in contact with. Continue to do that soul searching within yourself and knowing that you are being guided in the right place. And again, staying hopeful, looking to build with your partner and allowing uh, yourself to get those downloads during your uh, meditative states or while you are sleeping. So if this read resonates with you guys, I would ask that you would again be so kind as to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Check out, uh, for the Facebook watchers, check out my channels, IV Vibes Tarot on YouTube, as well as My Divination with D. I thank you guys so very much for coming to my channel and watching this video. Hit your notification bell so you know the next time that I upload a video and leave me a heart emoji if this resonated with you or a comment just to let me know that you like this video. Thank you guys so much again and I will see you on the next one. Peace.